Here we have a bit of an interesting experiment spurred on by an online argument. So the argument is, if you have a smartphone and you have it hooked up to the charger and it's just sitting around with full charge battery, it's going to be pulling power straight from the charger or it's going to be pulling power from the battery. Uh, and we have a voltage monitor across the battery. I've just taped a couple of copper terminals uh, right across the battery of this thing. Uh, it's in circuit and we can monitor the voltage live. Uh, now I'm saying uh, the phone is going to be drawing power from the battery uh, even when it's fully charged and it's going to keep doing that until it falls below a certain threshold at which point it's going to charge the battery back up and uh, repeat the cycle. So the battery, if it's just sitting on the charger, it's going to be doing small kind of micro cycles between 4.1 and 4.2 volts or so. Uh, whereas the other part is says that no, the phone is going to be drawing power all the time from the charger and the battery is just going to be sitting uh, doing nothing. Uh, so uh, this experimental setup lets us test that because since we're probing the battery voltage live, any load on the battery is going to show up as a drop in voltage across it. And uh, any uh, load on the charger is going to show up on the current meter there. It's not a super good uh, current meter, it uh, doesn't register below 100 milliamps or so, uh, but uh, if we, for instance, turn on the camera, it would be drawing more than 100 milliamps from the charger. Right now it's drawing nothing from the charger and the, the battery is sitting at a quite stable, very high voltage. So let's turn on the camera, see what happens. If my theory is correct, this voltage is going to be dropping and we will not see any current draw from there, at least not initially. Turn on, wait a moment. There we go, that's the camera button. And there you can see with some load, the battery voltage is dropping. And the charger is still reading zero amps. So uh, if we leave this sitting, it's uh, just going to keep drawing power from the battery for a while until it's uh, discharged to such a level that it feels a need to recharge it. So the reason they do it like this, instead of having the phone draw power straight from the charger, is because it's a lot cheaper to just not have any uh, multiple input switching circuitry in the phone. All the voltage regs in the phone are only powered straight from the battery because that requires fewer parts, which makes sense. Uh, to have it run straight from, from the charger, you'd require a wider input voltage on the uh, voltage regulators because you would be facing voltages up to five volts. There the charger kicked in, by the way, 4.3 volts. And now we can see it's actually charging the battery back up. Uh, and while it's doing this, of course, uh, the phone is running off the charger because the charger is uh, in parallel with the battery. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, to have a switching circuitry, you'd have, have to have a voltage tolerance from like uh, 3 volts up to 5 volts on the voltage regs on the phone instead of 3 volts up to 4.2. And you would have some, require some kind of transistor circuit there to switch between input 1 and input 2. And they can, can emit both of those uh, things as a cost saving measure by having the phone only run off the battery all the time with no exceptions ever.